Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Ben's birthday card. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Ben! ben. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your card. Cool. A space rocket. And here's your present. Wow! A space mobile. We made it ourselves. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. And later, all your friends will be coming to your birthday party. Cool. Who can that be? Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. You're a bit early for my party. A uh, party? Have you brought me a birthday card? A uh, birthday card? Holly, you haven't forgotten my birthday, have you? Oh, uh, uh, happy birthday, Ben. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. Uh, I've just got to pop back home for something. Oh. See you later. Oh dear, oh dear! I've forgotten Ben's birthday! <laughs> Milk, sugar, flour and an egg! Good, let's do some baking! Hocus Pocus! Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! <laughs> I've forgotten Ben's birthday. Oh, don't worry, my little one. He'll have another birthday next year. No, no, it's really important. I have to do something for this birthday. Ben is my best friend. Oh. I've got to make a birthday card really quickly, but I don't know where to start. What you need is a little magic to get you going. Ahem, milk. Flour, egg and sugar, paint, brushes, card and glitter. <laughs> Thanks, Nanny. Now, I've got a very nice spell for making birthday cards. It goes... Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Nanny Plum! Oh, i better go and see what King Thistle wants. Nanny Plum! Yes, Your Majesty? Mm. This chair is a bit hard. Can you do a magic spell to make me more comfortable? Oh, King Thistle, you lazy thing. You could do a magic spell yourself. But my wand is over there. Oh, OK. Humphy, lumpy, dumpy, make King Thistle nice and comfy. Ah! That's better. And some music, please. Oh. Tra-la-la, tra-la-lin. Music, please, with violin. Ah, lovely. Thank you. You can go now, Nanny Plum. Oh. Now, where were we? You just said hocus pocus, plinkety plonk. Oh, yes. Ahem. Hocus Pocus Plinkety Nanny Plum! Oh, bother. What can he want now? Nanny! I want a cup of tea! Yes, yes, coming! Uh, this card will never get made. I'll just have to do the magic myself. Now, what was Nanny's spell? Hmm. Ah, yes. Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Uh, how about 
Make me a birthday card. Super duper quick. <laughs> Hurry up! I haven't got all day. Right! You naughty paintbrushes! I'll do a stronger spell to make you go faster. Sam! Pop! Zip! Pow! More! Bigger! Faster! Now! <laughs> There's your tea, Your Majesty. Will that be all? Yes, thank you. Mummy! Help! Help! Goodness me! Mummy! Make the magic stop! Thunder and lightning, north winds blow! Magic spell! Away you go! Nanny, you stopped it. Yes, but I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle. Oh. Oof! What happened to the magic? Ahem. There was a little problem in the kitchen and I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle for one day, Your Majesties. Sorry. Oh. And the weather in the little kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Hang on. If you've stopped all the magic in the castle, why is the TV still working? Uh, the TV's not magic. Isn't it? Really? Oh! oh. If there's no magic today, how can I make Ben a birthday card? Well, you could make the card by hand. Really? Could I? And I can help you. Uh, Nanny Plum, I think you'll be busy cleaning up the kitchen. That will take but a moment with my fairy magic wand. But there isn't any magic. You've stopped all the magic for one day. Oh, yes. <laughs> this will be fun. Mmm. This will be fun too. I think I'll start with a picture of Ben. <laughs> it's easy doing things without magic. Yes, really easy. Now, lots of kisses for Ben. And some sparkly glitter. There. Lovely. Yes, it's amazing what can be done without using magic. Yes, Nanny Plum, it is. <laughs> <laughs> now quick, or you'll be late for Ben's birthday party. <laughs> to love his birthday card. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Happy birthday, Ben. Come in. <laughs> I've made you a card. Thanks, Holly. Ben's had lots of lovely cards today. I made my card with magic. Wow! I made my card with a computer. Oh! I bought mine from a shop. That's nice. Holly, can I have your card now, please? Uh, it isn't very good. I didn't use magic or a computer 
or buy it from a shop. Uh, I made it myself. You mean you didn't just use magic? Wow, it's fantastic! Ooh! <laughs> Happy birthday, Ben! <laughs> uh, actually, Ben, I did forget your birthday. Yes, I know. You always forget my birthday. Do I? Yes, but it doesn't matter. You're still my best friend. <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Books! But the witch had eaten too much cake and fallen asleep. So the fairy tiptoed past the sleeping cat, waved her wand, Abracadou! Abracadi! Unfreeze the children and set them all free. And in a flash, the witch's spell was undone. As the sun came up and the stars went away, all of the children found themselves safely back in their beds. The end. Mummy, why did the witch freeze all the children? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the witch didn't like the noise the children made and just happened to know a spell for freezing them. Yes, Thank you, Nanny Plum. Not eating for a year and a day must have made the children very hungry. No, the witch had frozen them solid, like frozen peas. Now, frozen peas don't get hungry, do they? No. no. Queen Thistle, where do the stars go in the daytime? I'm sorry, Ben. You said the sun came up and the stars went away. But where did the stars go? Uh, well, let's see what the book says. Hmm, it doesn't say where the stars went. Nanny Plum, do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, no. Oh. Perhaps we should ask King Thistle. He knows how the world works. Yes, let's go and ask Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Top. Daddy, Daddy, can we ask you a question? Yes, of course, Holly. What is it? Can you tell us where the stars go in the daytime? <laughs> what? Where do the stars go when the sun comes up? Well, they go. Yes, they go. <laughs> I'm actually rather busy at the moment, Holly. Our storybook said the stars went away. But it didn't say where they went. Oh, I see. Well... There are plenty of books in the Royal Library. One of them might have the answer. Good idea, Queen Thistle. Come on, everyone. Wow! It's very untidy in here. That's because these are magic books. You are very naughty books. Flying about and fidgeting. Chop, chop. Go sort yourselves out. A, B, C, neatly, please. How do we find what we're looking for? These are magic books. You just ask them. Excuse me, books. Where do the stars go in the daytime? Do you have anything about stars at all? Ooh. Look at all the fancy writing. What does it say? Has it got the answer? It says, Little star, we ask you to make our wishes all come true. Oh, it's just a spell for wishing on a star. Oh. Oh, 
I think these magic books are only for making spells, not for answering questions. But Nanny, why don't you know the answer? I'm Nanny Plum, not an astrophysicist. Astrophysicist? What's that? Oh, it's just someone who knows a lot about stars and space and things. Elves know a lot about things. We can ask my mum and dad. Are your mum and dad astrophysicists? Uh, maybe. Let's go and see. <laughs> My goodness! Mum, Dad, are you astrophysicists? No, oh, we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> Do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, uh no. no. <sighs> Nobody knows the answer. Maybe we could ask the wise old elf. Yes, he's wise. He's old. And, and he's, he's an, an elf! elf. <laughs> <laughs> This is the wise old elf's study, where he thinks about things and is wise and stuff. Enter. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. How can I help you? Wise old elf, we have a question. The answer wasn't in our storybook. It's an elf question, not really a fairy matter. So we thought... As you are the wise old elf. Yes, of course. Ask me any question, anything at all. <coughs> Where do the stars go in the daytime? Uh, ask me another question. Uh, on sport, perhaps. You're not really wise, are you? You're just old. So, old elf, you don't know the answer. Uh, no, but I do know where to find it. Where? Follow me. Is it far? All of this searching for answers has made me a bit tired. We can take the lift. Mind the doors, please. We are going to the Great Elf Library. Great Elf Library, indeed. It's probably just a dusty old cupboard. Goodness me! Shh! This is a library. We must be quiet. Wow! It's huge! There are so many books here. How do you stop them flying about and fidgeting? These are not magic books, Your Majesty. Oh, well, how do you ever find what you are looking for, then? We ask the wise old librarian. So where is this wise old librarian? <clears throat> Can I help you? Are you the librarian? Yes. <clears throat> do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Yes. The answer is in the astrophysics section, second row, reference 520.34. This way... But we already looked in books for the answer. What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in... Ooh! Witches. And books about how things work. Wow! A rocket book! There are books about music. <gasps> oh, palm music for elves! My favourite! Books about animals. Oh, chickens! That's interesting! Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah, here we are. A book on stars. Is this going to have the answer? Let's see. Is everybody comfortable? Yes, yes Queen Thistle. Thistle. On clear nights, 
we can see the stars twinkling in the sky. The light we see from each star is tiny, the tiniest little spot of light. We can only see it because the sky is so dark. Black! The night sky is pure blackness. Yes, it is, Holly. But when the morning comes and the sun rises, the sky gets brighter and the stars disappear. But, Mummy, where do the stars go? They don't go anywhere. What? They're still shining in the sky. We just can't see them anymore because the sky is so bright. It's obvious. I knew that. And when the sun goes down and the sky gets darker, we can see the stars again. When the sun goes, of course. So, Daddy, where does the sun go? Well, it... Ah, wise old elf. Ooh, these books should answer that question, Your Majesty. Oof! This is a library. We must be quiet. Hooray! Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Betty Caterpillar. <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Holly. <laughs> to you, Bobby B. <laughs> Whoa! Who are you? <laughs> it's a caterpillar. Hello. Ben, can you speak caterpillar language? Um, not really. Betty. It sounds like she's saying Betty. <laughs> Hello, Betty. <laughs> We're playing with our friends, Gaston the Ladybird <laughs> and Bobby B. <laughs> Would you like to play too? That must mean yes. Um, let's play racing. Fastest across the meadow is the winner. Can we fly? No flying and no magic. OK. Ready? Steady? Go! <laughs> Gaston showing us some tricks. Good idea, Ben. We can sit and watch for a bit. <laughs> Look, Betty Caterpillar is sad. I think she feels a bit left out. <laughs> I know how to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly and I'm an elf. <laughs> that didn't cheer her up much. Maybe I can make her fly by magic. Can you do that? Um, I think so. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly! <laughs> wow, it worked! 
Creature. We were just trying to help her. Betty's sad that she can't fly. I see. Well, you needn't worry. She'll be flying soon enough on her own. How? Well, because she's one of those, uh, insect things. A caterpillar? Thank you, Ben. Yes, a caterpillar. And they change, don't they? Do they? Of course they do. So you've nothing to worry about. Uh, right. If you want to help, you can find her some leaves to eat. So if we want to help her fly, we have to find more leaves? Exactly. She needs to eat lots and lots of leaves. Why? You'll see. First, gather up the leaves. OK, let's see who can get the most leaves. OK, you're on. Too many leaves? Yes, she is a tiny bit fat. There's no way she'll ever fly. That's better. She's a good weight now. Uh, Daddy, how can this help Betty fly? <laughs> You'll see. Home time! Ah, oh, that's Nanny Plum calling me in. Ben! Home time! And that's my dad. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Ben. Good night, Betty. us to feed Betty, but now she's so big, she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. <laughs> Morning time! <laughs> Where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? 
Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. <laughs> she's got wings. <laughs> wow, she's a butterfly. Betty Butterfly. <laughs> Look, they're all flying together. <laughs> she looks really happy. Let's join them. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone can fly. <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Gaston! <laughs> Thanks, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> Yee-haw! <laughs> Betty Butterfly Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Queen Holly. Children, your mother and I are going away for the day on royal business. Which means you will be at home, alone with Nanny Plum. Ooh! Everything will be fine, Your Majesties. So no funny business. I don't want to come home to find the kingdom covered in frogs or jelly or anything. No, no Daddy. Daddy. Because while we're away, you represent King and Queen Thistle. Does that mean I can be queen? <laughs> well, I suppose it does. Just for today. Brilliant! Magic car. Drive on. Bye! Bye. Be good. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> queen Holly. Hmm, I like the sound of that. <clears throat> Hello! I'm Queen Holly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Nanny Plum. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Holly's much too busy to play today. She has a kingdom to run. Huh? Ben! Come up here, quick! OK. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Queen Holly to you. What? Mummy and Daddy have gone on a trip today and left me in charge of the whole kingdom. Wow! So I'm Queen Holly. Hello. Hello, Nanny Plum. I've come to collect Ben Elf. It's time for school. OK, I'll just... Nanny, send the wise old elf up. I'll sort this out. Very well, Your Majesty. Enter. Hello, Princess Holly. I'm 
not Princess Holly. I am Queen Holly today. I've got no time for these fun and games. I've come to collect Ben for school. Oh, Wait, Ben. Mummy and Daddy are away today, so I am in charge of the whole kingdom. Is this true, Nanny Plum? I'm afraid so. And I have just decided that Ben does not have to go to school today. It's the law. Well, this is most unusual. In fact, there'll be no school for anyone today. No school for anyone? Yes, it's the law, because I am Queen Holly. Um, as you wish, Queen Holly. <laughs> oh, dear. The children will be most upset when they hear the news. Children, I'm afraid... Queen Holly has informed me there will be no school today. Hooray! 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 What's that noise? Hooray! Hooray! No school! Thank you! Oh, wise Queen Holly! Hooray! Hooray! Shush! Today shall be a holiday for everyone, even grown ups. Even the wise old elf. And Nanny Plum. Oh. No one's allowed to work. It's the law. But what shall we do all day? Uh, play games. Yes, you've got to play games and be happy. Because I am Queen Holly. <laughs> Right, Mr Elf, next on the list, a delivery of food for the little castle. Right ho, Mrs Elf. Gosh, what a busy day. Yes, but elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> <laughs> Make way, Elf at work. There's no work today, Mr Elf. It's a holiday. Is this true, wise old elf? Uh, 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 I'm afraid so. But I've got an urgent delivery of food for the little castle. I suggest you come back tomorrow. Righty-ho. Bye. Bye. Soaking of food, I'm getting a bit hungry. Me too. And me. And me. And me. And me. Queen Holly. Holly, if you would allow the elves back to work, we could make everyone lunch. No, no. You all have to have a nice day's holiday. It's the law. But we're hungry. We need food. Uh, I'll make food. Hooray! Now, what do you eat on holiday? Ice cream. Yes, that's it. You shall all eat ice cream! Hooray! Thank you, Queen Holly! Where are we going? To the kitchen! We can use Nanny Plum's cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am! But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abraca do, Abraca bong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. Ice creams for everyone. Ooh, thank, thank you. you. I'll be back with more. <laughs> Oh, there's quite a lot. Will it stop soon? Uh, I think I'd 
told it to make ice cream all day long. Oh dear. Ah, <sighs> we'll soon be home. Yes, and it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes, Holly must be behaving herself. Ah, there's too many ice creams. Make it stop, Holly. Make it stop. Better. Oh. Ah! Oi! Where's our ice cream? Ah! Oh, goodness me! <laughs> I did try to stop it, Nanny, but it got worse. Well, thank goodness the King and Queen aren't here to see all this mess. It's the King and Queen. Hooray! It's very nice of you all to welcome us home like this. May I be the first to say how pleased we are to see you back again, Your Majesties. While you were away... Yes, yes. I'm a bit tired, so if you'll excuse me. Ah, stop! Uh, maybe you should go for a little walk, Your Majesty. I've just got a bit of tidying up to do inside. Thank you, Nanny Plum, but all I want to do now is have a nice bath. <gasps> Whoa! Ah, ice cream. Sorry, Daddy. It's all my fault. I tried to be a good queen and make everybody happy, but it's a lot harder than you'd think. <laughs> yes, Holly. I know it is. Especially with elves. Elves are never happy. <clears throat> we are happy when we are busy. Elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> In that case, I command you to go back to work at once. Hooray! And your first job will be to clean up all this ice cream. Thank you, Your Majesty. Three cheers for King Thistle. And Queen Holly. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Tooth Fairy! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough playing for one day. It's time for Ben to go home. Oh, can we play a little bit longer? No, Holly, it's your bedtime. Is it your Bedtime too, Nanny Plum. Goodness me, no. I have to work all night. You have to work all night? I'm a tooth fairy. You're a tooth fairy? Yes. When a child loses a baby tooth, they put it under the pillow before going to sleep. Then I take it away and leave a coin in its place. Wow. When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The Tooth Fairy! Ooh, exciting! I have to collect a little girl's tooth tonight. Can we come with you, Nanny? Hmm, only if you're very quiet. We mustn't wake the little girl up. We can be quiet, can't we, Ben? Elves are very good at being quiet. And I'm an elf! Shush! Dear me! This is why there are no tooth elves, only tooth fairies. It's very late to be making so much noise. Shouldn't you be getting home, Ben? We want to see Nanny be the Tooth Fairy. But you've got school tomorrow, Holly. It's the school holidays. 
But it's very dark outside. Princess Holly could do with some night flying practice. But being a tooth fairy can be very dangerous work. We'll be very careful. But please can we go? OK, as long as you stay close to Nanny. Hooray! <laughs> When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The, the Tooth Fairy! <laughs> <laughs> Nanny, why did Mummy say being a Tooth Fairy was dangerous? There are lots of things you need to be careful of when you're flying at night. Like what? Ah! Cobwebs, for instance. Good evening, Madam Spider. Sorry for damaging your web, but the young elf isn't very experienced at night flying. Oh. You. Bye. Oh. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Nanny, what else do we have to look out for? Oh. Windows. Where did that come from? Well done, Holly. You found the little girl's house. And that's the little girl. She doesn't look very little. Wow, look at that big girl. Shush, she's also got big ears to hear us with. So be very quiet. Follow me. <gasps> she's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. Oh, her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings! <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. Wow! wow. There it is. <laughs> It's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I love getting letters. But the children always want a reply. Now we'll have to come back again. Can I read it? Dear Tooth Fairy, what is it like to live in Fairyland? Fairyland. That makes it sound like some silly make-believe place. Did she ask about elves? Um, no, Ben. Maybe there wasn't enough room on the paper. But she does say, love from Lucy. That's a lovely name. Shush. Remember, Princess Holly, we mustn't wake her. Nanny, what happens to the tooth now? We give it to the elves. They take care of the rest. This way. Hopefully, there'll be no one there. Then we can just leave our tooth and go. Good evening. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Tooth delivery. Have you filled in your tooth report? Yes. There appear to be some details missing. Where was the tooth found? Uh, under the pillow. Under the pillow. Dear me, you haven't even put the little girl's name. We know that. Her name is Lucy. Lucy. And she's written us a letter. Ah, a letter. There'll have to be a reply before morning. Oh. I'll write it. Dear Lucy, um, it's very nice in the Little Kingdom. There are lots of fairies. And elves. OK, Ben. And there are lots of elves too. Love, Princess Holly. And Ben Elf. And Ben Elf. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Now we've got to take it back. We'll have to be quick. It's almost morning. Someone's coming. Hide under the bed. That must be Lucy's mummy. Oh no! The window's 
shut. How will we get out? This is elf work. Elves are good at opening windows and I'm an elf. <gasps> Stop, Ben. You'll wait for Lucy. Sorry. <sighs> hmm. I think we're going to need more than one elf. I'll ring for more elves. Oh, where can I get a signal on my phone? Don't stand too close, Ben. Ah! Help! Uh, what did Nanny say? Oh, yes. Beat your wings. But I'm an elf. I don't have wings. OK, um, flap your arms. Uh... Hello. <gasps> You're meant to be asleep. You're not supposed to see us. Who are you? Uh, I'm Holly. I'm a fairy princess. A real fairy princess with wings and a wand and everything. <laughs> yes. And this is Ben. He's an elf. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Oh, I wrote you a letter. Thank you. Oh, it's so little. It's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? <laughs> Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! elves. No! This is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's OK. She's asleep. You can come out now. Phew! Bye, Lucy. See, See you, you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. Um, can we have a lift? I'm a bit too tired to fly. Up aboard. <laughs> that was fun. When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The Tooth Fairy! Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Elf Windmill. Nanny Plum, I'd like some bread with my egg, please. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. We haven't any bread this morning. No bread? Then please magic some up. I can't magic up bread without flour, and we've run out of flour. Well, can't we order more flour from the elves? I have, but as usual, the elf truck is late. Nanny, the elf truck's here. <laughs> Delivery! At last, Mr Elf! 
King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Well, today we've got mushrooms, tomatoes, baked beans and, of course, eggs. That should make a splendid King's breakfast. Yes, yes, thank you, Mr Elf. But the only thing I need today is flour. Flour? Yes, flour for making bread. The King wants bread. No problem. We'll pick up a bag of flour from the Elf Windmill. Thank you, Mr Elf. Let's see. We should be able to deliver it next week. Next week? But I need flour today. Ah, you know what they say? You can't rush the Elf Windmill. Hmm. Maybe I should visit this Elf Windmill. Of course, Nanny Plum. We can take you if you like. The windmill sounds fun. Can I come too? Of course. Hop aboard, Princess Holly. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, Nanny Plum. Hi there. Can I have a bag of flour, please? Certainly. We should have a bag of flour ready in a week. But I need it now. Ho, oh, ho. You know what they say. You can't rush the elf windmill. Why not? Ho, oh, ho. Don't you know how a windmill makes flour? Of course I do. Uh... Wise old elf, can you show us how it makes flour? Of course I can. Follow me. Now, can anyone tell me what this is? It's an elf. <laughs> no, no. What is the elf holding? It's wheat. Very good, Ben. And who knows what we do with wheat at the Elf Windmill? I know. We take the wheat and we... Uh, one moment, Ben. Let's give the fairies a chance to tell us. Um, is it for sweeping the floor? Oh, no, no, no. We use the wheat to make the flour. First, we put the wheat in this funnel. The funnel separates out the parts we need. Come and see. This way, everyone. That doesn't look like flour. We haven't finished yet, Princess Holly. Look, the wind turns the sails. The sails turn the cogs. And the cogs turn the grindstone. The grindstone crushes the grains of wheat and out comes top quality elf flour. It's very slow. That's why it takes a week to make a bag of flour. Why can't it go faster? The mill goes at the speed of the wind. So, if we could make the wind go faster, the mill would go faster too. Oh, yes. But we can't make the wind go faster. I can. Oh, now, I'm not sure you should use magic. Oh, stop fussing. I'm always very careful when it comes to weather spells. Nanny, can I do the spell too? No, Princess Holly. You're much too young for dangerous weather spells. Oh. But you can watch me and see how it's done. Blow, winds, do your stuff with all your might. Puff, puff, puff! Ooh. There. What did I tell you? Um, well... The 
windmill's going faster and faster. You see, wise old elf? I know what I'm doing. That sounded like thunder. Did you do that, Nanny? Me? No. I didn't magic up thunder, just wind. Are you sure you haven't made a storm, Nanny? Yes. Well, wind, storm, hurricane, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, we're making so much flour, we're running out of sacks. Nanny Plum, is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing. It'll get better in a moment. It can't get any worse. Ah! Oh, the mill's going crazy. It's making too much flour. Run, run, run for your life! Too fast! The mill is out of control! It's filling up with flour! Isn't that what it's supposed to do? We have to slow the mill down! <sighs> All right! I'll just do some more magic to stop the wind! No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it. Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. <gasps> I hope they're okay. <laughs> they don't look very happy. Elves are never happy. <laughs> Maybe you could stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. What did he say? Stop the wind! Oh, OK. All winds, away you go! Wise old elf, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. <laughs> I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. Oh, stop fussing. <coughs> ben, look. There's your dad. Uh, hi, Dad. Hi, Ben. Ah, Mr Elf, could you deliver one bag of flour for Nanny Plum? She can have a whole truckload. I'll take it there right away. Hooray! <coughs> oh, thank you. That would be most kind. 